Tell us where you went after China before, before we oh, get we the haven't Corona. Done the China yet. We haven't done China yet, have we? Not really. How'd you blow up in China? Long story short, there's this group called TF Boys. They're like the Kardashians of China. And the youngest of the TF Boys. Uh, How young are we talking? 16. Dance yeah, he did a choreographed like dance yeah, to one of my songs that was televised across like all of China for his birthday. And I immediately went viral. It was like some like super random fuckery luck. What like, was the song? That's so random. It's ran- called Yo-Yo Tokyo. To and I only had it released in America for about, or like North America, like SoundCloud. Because I wasn't using Spotify and Spotify wasn't really popular yeah. at the time. And it was only out for like two and a half weeks. Yeah. And yeah, I, I took it out. I took it down because fuck it. And it was like the biggest song in China. For me, for a very long time, is that, like, what, is that what started people like booking tours for you in China as well? Yeah, it was that song. I heard you say you you were selling out there before you could sell out anywhere else. Like you could. Bro, go I was to China. selling out. I was selling out there. I was selling at eight hundred caps with like three thousand followers on Instagram. Wow. Oh damn. Yeah. Like it was. If even. That's such a strange up. like bubble to occur. I think it was like the most inspirational part of my career because. Right before then, I was like, I need to take my life seriously. If I'm going to school, you know, I'm going to get an education. I got to, like, actually get decent grades. And then after that, I was like, all right, fuck school. Like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to finish school and, you know, get the grades to to finish. I'm going to try hard on both both fields. But And then gravy gravy blew up, and I was like, all right. Didn't you meet him in a class or something? No, no, no. I met him. Well, I sent him a message while I was in astrophysics 101. (laughs) <laughs> and I sent him a message and I was like, hey, Is that a real thing? <laughs> astrophysics 101? It's that- legit, legit, legit. <laughs> okay. I was sitting in class not paying attention. And that was like the class that I was like kind of worried about because I would just like not, I didn't know anything in that class. I didn't study at all because my friend was like, Yo, super fucking easy class. Take it, bird class. I was like, yeah, right, That I, sounds I, really I easy, up, bro. And then I got, I got <laughs> fucked. I got like, I got fucked in that class because I just like, wasn't paying attention. I was just like, Because you're too shit. busy damning young grade. Yeah, exactly. And um, long story short, sent him a message, and I was like, "Dude, your music is dumb." And I is was that like, "A good thing?" Or no, no, no. I don't speak retard, legit. Legit, thing. it was a good thing. Good? I was like, "Bro, okay. your music is so dumb, so funny. Like, we gotta work." Yeah. And then I added him on Facebook, and we just kind of became friends. What was his size difference back then? Like, was he oh, a small? He was. He well? was less less popular than I was. Okay. And then he blew up. He blew up. I just like felt. I remember when I first heard his music, I was like, "Damn." I feel like this guy's gonna blow up, and I told him. How do you, I remember, run, how do you yeah. run into that sort of music like that? Just like SoundCloud, or well, when I was when I was like first growing on SoundCloud, I was like deep into SoundCloud. So anyone who you know was starting to make music, I knew. Yeah, right. Just like anybody at all, and I found you know I found Gravy's music, and I was like, damn, like yeah, this music is so different that that's all that really matters in music. In the end of the day, is like yeah. as long as you're different, like you'll pop off. And I remember telling him, I was like, bro, like, I feel like his music is going to really blow up. And he was, I, I, we were at Fraser and 41st. Yeah. And I was like, bro, this music going to blow up. And you were like, I don't know, man. I was like, this is really you were weird. doubting. Like, it yeah, sounds, he, he it was sounds definitely like doubting. really out there. He was definitely doubting. I was but like, this is either going to blow the fuck up or like never get it heard. This is too niche and weird. Yeah. This is like, his voice is beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. Gravy, Gravy's voice. voice is some bullshit, Loki. Yeah, fuck, fuck you, Matt. You have a nice ass voice. That's fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's fuck, Matt. I, I, only know, <laughs> I only know of Young Gravy because of other YouTubers. Weirdly enough, because he does a lot of stuff with Chad Lee's and Trevor, and Charlie's been yeah. on the podcast before. Like Trevor was on our uh, Shining on the X video. He was like the video. Oh yeah, yeah. He was the videographer yeah, for man. the music video. I saw yeah. that too. Really, yeah, really good guy. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of weird how the crossover works, especially with like new wave, like new wave, like rappers and stuff like that. They all. Get involved with YouTube as like you guys are now, and well, that I, that ties back into like meme culture and yeah. just well, you're, he's embracing on stage. this yeah. sort of he's on stage today doing Barbie now. Girl and like MLG Foghorns. The, and the shit thing like that. is, is like, bro, honestly, like if you're gonna perform, just have fun. Mm. I've I've seen so many shows that like so many acts take themselves way too seriously, whether they be rap or whether they be any like other genre. It's just yeah. like. It's just not fun for the for the person in the audience, and I think it's contagious as well when you are having fun. Yeah, like for exactly, the audience, people exactly. are like, yeah. And that's yeah. one thing that Gravy and I definitely had like kind of preached with our with our live shows. It's like we don't give a fuck. Yeah, 
Like Gravy and I have given out so many rotisserie chickens, like <laughs> live. Like I remember there was one, uh, there was one time, I, I don't know specifically where it was, but we gave out a chicken and the, like I threw a drumstick at a girl and the, <laughs> it ended in her mouth somehow. It was just in what? her mouth the whole night. And there was like no, she was no just like meat on it. On the bone. And she was like eating the <laughs> bone the whole night. I was like, dude, this is fucked up, dude. <laughs>